New audio reported by the New York Times appears to show House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy expressing concern about rhetoric from members of his own party in the days following the Capitol attack. Scott McFarlane has been following the story and is here to discuss with us. So, Scott, um, tell me about this new audio. What does it reveal? Released by the authors of a new book and New York Times journalists, this is the second batch of audio in as many weeks of Kevin McCarthy in the days after the U.S. Capitol riot expressing concern about not just the events of January 6th, but key figures in his own party. In the latest batch of audio, he's heard naming names as well. He mentions Florida Congressman Matt Gates, and Alabama Congressman and Senate candidate Mo Brooks. In so many words, the House Republican leader says he's concerned that members of his own party were putting people in jeopardy with their rhetoric. The audio comes from the week after January 6, 2021. It's a phone call that includes other members of the Republican leadership and some of the other voices in Republican leadership. And unlike last week's audio, Anne-Marie, this one also includes the voice of House, Major House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, the Republican from Louisiana, also expressing concern about the rhetoric of colleagues, saying that it's just too overheated for the moment, and that doing this could put people at risk, maybe even a violation of law. This is a political issue for Kevin McCarthy at this moment. We tried to ask him questions about this last night, and he sped away, saying only that he doesn't think this is going to put his leadership in jeopardy. But Matt Gates, Anne-Marie, has issued a statement critical of Kevin McCarthy, critical of Steve Scalise, calling them weak, saying he was trying to defend Donald Trump from impeachment while McCarthy and Scalise were trying to defend Liz Cheney from criticism. You can see a division mm -hmm. forming, a schism forming in the Republican Party, which has all the optimism in the world. They're poised to take the majority in November. Yeah, so speaking of um, Congressman Gates, it, in fact, uh, McCarthy is criticizing him for doing a TV interview where he supported uh, former President uh, Donald Trump. And, and, and basically, McCarthy's concern is what you brought up, that he, this kind of rhetoric can be maybe putting people in danger. But you said something else, too, not just putting people in danger, it may be criminal. So then it brings me to the investigation. And, you know, is this something that members of Congress uh, may be looking into? in terms of the investigation to the January 6th attack? Well, there's something unprecedented already happening here. In the months since January 6th, there have been metal detectors to each entrance to the U.S. House chamber. Keep in mind, members of Congress are the only ones going into the House chamber. They've erected metal detectors to screen their own colleagues. That was a controversial notion. That was a controversial program, but it remains in effect to this day. So this is not the first we've heard of members perhaps raising risk for other members. We know the House January 6th committee wants to talk to members of Congress about any role they played in fomenting this plan to challenge the electoral count on January 6th and potentially fomenting the mob. They just, on Friday night, released text messages sent to former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows from fellow Republican Scott Perry of Pennsylvania. The text message indicates Perry wanted some machinations in the Justice Department after Election Day. Also a text from Jim Jordan, the Republican from Ohio, talking about what Mike Pence could do that day on January 6th. So you have also this unprecedented moment where the House Select January 6th Committee is trying to investigate their own colleagues and they have made a new request or will soon make a new request, Anne-Marie, for Kevin McCarthy to come talk to them. Boy, this is just getting more and more interesting, uh, Scott. And you alluded to this. Uh, we are on the eve of midterm elections. And goodness only knows how this will all impact um, those elections. Scott, thank you very much.